Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. The newcomers, my name is Didi. I say BAM sometimes. Um, in today's video, a short TA update. From now on, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will do these TA videos of 5 to 10 minutes. And all the other days of the week, I will do cool AMAs, cool lives, and all other stuff in educating you about Bitcoin, blockchain, and live. Now, quickly jump into the first charts because it's an amazing chart. Watch the video till the end, please. Now, here we go. First one. Yeah. First one, this is the four hour chart guys. On the four hour chart guys, I told you some days ago, um, there is a green flag. We are waiting for a confirmation above the yellow stepping line, a candle closing above it. There's this candle closed above it. We are waiting for the yellow and the blue to start to become green. And we will wait for the blue line to cross the white line and stay above it. Exactly at this point that happened. If you would take that long, I thought you also, uh, watch out, the top of the blue uh, Bollinger Band can be the moment you took big profit. That's 3.3% without a leverage. That would have been a nice long. Then again, the other side around, we wait for a short. When this green turns red, that is a short. So if you're waiting and sticking it out, then you wait for that short to happen. Okay, now let's zoom out the day chart. On this day chart, we can see that we are uh, bouncing around that area bouncing around that line of 19,600. Yes, we come down below it a little bit, but the wicks are still um, longer to the downside than the upside. This means there is still some pushing up, you know, the, the, the price wants to go up. And if we could move up, maybe even, you know, we, we, you never know, but this could be a beautiful W pattern, then we could um, go up to the level of, let's say, here, maybe that green line. The green line is now 23,780. And if we break that one on the daily, then we can even take it to that next line. But that's a long way up to 28. First, we need to go to this level over there. We can see in the bottom that the MACD, that one is like declining again and now coming up green again. So the market is like going sideways. Now, and that is also what we can see in the weekly. And the weekly can see it very clearly that the last one, two, three, four weeks we are going sideways we have wicks touching the 200 weekly moving average on the top that red line here but we can't break it but we try it at the moment this candle is at 20,600 but we have a large wick to the bottom which is positive in my opinion if we can create a small body here a large wick to the bottom that is mostly a candle that is signaling a small reversal and then we could go again try to break the 22800 a lot of people in uh, social medias are asking for 12k 13k they are asking that because from the top to the bottom that's what would mean <laughs> from the top 85% 85% down we could get to the bottom of 10k because the last autumn highs we reached like 20k and 1200 we crashed 85 percent or about 85 percent so if we would crash now again that would be 10k the 300 weekly moving average though is now at 16,800 and every week increasing so that for me is the ultimate bottom at the moment because we have never gone lower than the 300 weekly moving average we touch it here in the COVID crash so for me um, I don't think that we will go massive lower. Even if you would go massive lower, you would still be buying. Now you should be buying. And if you go lower, you would be buying a little bit more. And why should you be buying at the moment? Because else, in a few months, you will be the one that's saying, Ah, I missed the bottom. Why would you want to miss the bottom? Start to dollar cost average in at these prices. And that is also what you see on the monthly chart, guys. Yes, I'm going pretty quickly. Is my face still on the right place? Yes, it is. On the monthly, we can see it as well. It's the first time in the Bitcoin history that we close the candle down below to on a weekly moving average. Now, this green one, it already touched that one on the monthly. Yeah? This green one is going to close in 16 days. And after the 16 days, we will open a new candle. Is this candle going to close above the 200 weekly moving average, above the 22,600 or below it? 
very important. If we close below it, then it might be a very difficult situation to uh, come above it quickly. That would take a, a few months. Now, the thing that I see on the monthly is this one over here. I just want to point it out. This one. Do you see that crossing? The 12 monthly moving average is crossing a 21 monthly moving average, almost. And probably when this candle closes, we can see that crossing. Now let's go back into history and search for another crossing. Okay, we have one over here. There was a crossing. Do we have more on the chart? Let's go even further back. There was a crossing. Now, what can you see at those crossings? That's now the question. And the important answer for me is, every time we saw those crossings, look, we had already seen the bottom. When we saw the crossing, we had already seen the bottom. When we will see this crossing, we probably will have seen the bottom. So for me, it's looking positive, but also still a little bit negative at the same time mixed feelings the sun is coming up so that's why it's influencing the screen so again it's mixed signals on the charts i have some more amazing charts wait for them um, but it means for me we are nearing a bottom so i should be dollar cost everything i should be buying bit by bit by bit by bit because we know that when the cycle turns around um, we will go much higher than the previous all-time high again now let's jump into some other real cool charts that are these if you want to trade all of these charts i would love you to visit the links down below my video because there you can find the links to for example bybit where you get a four thousand one hundred dollar bonus 30 percent fee discount you get free bit launchpad access just click the link down below at the moment there's a lot of giveaways because of the world series of trading there's a one million dollar prize pool there is four thousand fifty dollar bonus 20 percent fee discount and another six million dollar price pool uh, for the traders with the highest PL. sign up to buy with now because it's a massive exchange with massive giveaways that i really like and of course they're sponsoring maxwell stepman so that's amazing another exchange i want you to look at is apex because they are completely decentralized so you connect your own wallet to trade and you can trade with leverage check it click that link and use this code tbfdd02 um, there is also of course okex which is in the massive, massive exchange and check all the links down below use them because you can claim up to ten thousand dollar worth of bonuses now next chart over here now um this is the first one let's put my face on the right place this is if you look at the top this is the bitcoin net unrised profit loss the new pl nupl that's how it says it this is this chart is telling us when we are capitulating or when there is euphoria the bluish parts that's euphoria you know during this top we didn't even see euphoria because we had a round top that it's also what we call a distribution top now the green area that's disbelief denial that's when you think we could go higher and we have the optimism phase, the hope, and the capitulation phase is the red one. The capitulation phase mostly happens at the bottom. It happened 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 at the bottom. And probably it is again happening at the bottom. We see the capitulation even going lower, if you take a line, than the bottom of that COVID dip. So yes, in my opinion, this could easily be the bottom. If we look at the charts and we analyze the charts, this should be the bottom because we see capitulation like we always have seen. So for me, I don't want to miss out on buying that bottom. So I'm already buying Bitcoin back. And if we drop to 15K, I will buy a little bit Bitcoin back more. But this is near the bottom, guys. That's what the charts tell me. And we can only follow what the charts tell us. Now. Is Bitcoin volatile? Yes, Bitcoin has always been volatile. And if we look at the uh, Bitcoin price movements, we can see them over here. Then we can see the percentage change in the Bitcoin price on a monthly base. And on a monthly base, look, yes, we have even changed 80% on a monthly base. We also went minus 40 on a monthly base. But the plus months were bigger than the minus months. 
and this is not a strange period of time that we are experiencing now it's not something completely different than the previous years we have still always seen these percentages changed in the bitcoin price on a monthly basis and we will see them in the monthly base and there will be times again we will find that white line in the area between 40 and 80 percent that's what i believe and it's also what we can see over here guys this is very um, clear always this is the um, bitcoin Meyer multiple um, the Meyer multiple uh, is exactly behind my face <laughs> I'll put my face over here. Um, the Maya multiple, guys, is also indicating to us um, we are near a bottom. Look, the, this red line in this purplish area, it took 108, 101 days to get out. And when we got out, the price bammed. It took 28 days. And when we got out, the red line got out, the price changed to the upside. And here again, we got in. That was the bottom of 2019. We came up again, 2018-19. Here we touched it again, COVID. After that, the price went up. And now we are going into that again to 0.52. And even now we are back at 0.56. We are almost going out of the 0.6 level again. In my opinion, that will also influence, influence the price to the upside. Okay? Now, that was everything what I wanted to share with you about the TA today. TA today, I think... And that is very clear what is happening. Bitcoin is not dying. Bitcoin is not going anywhere. Bitcoin is doing a market cycle. And yes, we have a bearish time at the moment. And yes, we could be bottoming out at the moment. And yes, we could go a little bit more lo lower as well. But yes, we would also could reverse. And yes, we also could create new all-time highs in the next couple of years. And yes, we could go above 100k between 2023 and 25. And yes, we could go to a million in 2030. So if you believe in Bitcoin being the goal of the 21st century, being a store of value, being the peer-to-peer -peer cash, being the only real decentralized money that humanity ever had, you should be buying Bitcoin every day. Now, that was everything. Bam. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? And also, please remember, tonight there is a small party at Bam Bam Beach in Lagos, Portugal. So if you want to come, come visit us and have a nice drink. We can talk a little bit more about Bitcoin, blockchain, but especially about life. Because partying is talking about life. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam.